Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Neelika from Central University of Jammu. Today we are going to talk on module Cooperative Strategies from Paper Strategic Management. The key learning objectives of this module would be to understand the difference between functional level, business level and corporate level strategies. To understand different types of corporate level strategies as also to understand cooperative expansion strategies. Strategy is a game plan to target a market, conduct operations, satisfy customers and achieve organizational objectives. It lays down organization's desired goals, directions and destination. Strategy can never be perfect. It is always flexible. There are no second best choices in strategies. Strategy is partially proactive and partially reactive. Corporate level strategy students looks for the development of whole of the organization beginning with mission, goals to determining the business plan, resources and finally implementing different strategies in order to achieve a desired goal. Now for example, Godrej which deals with a wide range of businesses like soaps, furniture, edible oil, information technology and real estate. Business level strategy deals with translation of goals from individual businesses and functional level strategy students deals with specific business functions or operations like human resources, like product development, like customer service, etc. Now proactive actions may include improvement of company's market position and achieving a higher growth rate and reactive actions are important because we need to know the fresh market conditions and the developments which have not taken place yet. Strategies are formulated at three different levels corporate level strategy, business level strategy and functional level strategy. Levels of strategy Students, there are three different levels of strategy. One, a corporate level strategy, a business level strategy and a functional level strategy. Under corporate level strategy, we will understand stability strategies, cooperative expansion strategies, retrenchment strategies and combination strategies. As also, under the functional level strategies, the strategies are research and development, marketing, finance, operations and human resources. Corporate level strategy. Corporate strategy is a strategy which refers to decisions concerning expansion or retrenchment from an industry and also about how the management of a multi-business enterprise can achieve synergies. Three issues that are addressed here are does it help a company decide where a company should compete, how should the company compete and what route would it need to take to achieve the profitability objective that is cost leadership or product differentiation. Company through its various strategies should maintain strategic consistency across its strategic business units and make possible cooperation amongst these units in order not only to create value for the stakeholders in these business units but also to maintain a market identity even with a diversified portfolio. A corporate level strategy would essentially involve a reach. It defines company goals types of business in which companies should get involved. B. 
Activities and relationships. It helps in developing a relation by sharing and coordinating with the staff. It helps in investing business units in different units to harmonize different business activities. And C. Management practices. Corporates decide how business units are managed by direct corporate intervention or by less government agencies. Different types of corporate level strategies. Various corporate level strategies that businesses adopt are stability strategies. Stability strategies students may be of three types. A. No change strategies. B. Pause or proceed with caution strategies. And C. Profit strategies. Number two, cooperative expansion strategies. Now, these strategies would include integration, diversification, cooperation, and internationalization. Third type of corporate level strategy would be defensive or retrenchment strategy. Now, defensive or retrenchment strategies would again be of three types turnaround divestment or liquidation and last type of corporate strategy would be combination strategies which would again be of three types simultaneous sequential or a combination of both cooperative expansion strategy students every enterprise wants to expand to avoid risk drowning expansion provides ample of opportunities to the enterprise and is important for it. This is possible after achieving fundamentals of expansion. Expansion strategies are made in such a way that they help the enterprise to maintain a competitive edge in the international market. Hence, for successful competition, survival and to flourish, an enterprise has to pursue an expansion strategy. Expansion is an important strategic option that allows the company to fulfill its long-term growth objectives. It also helps in pursuing significant growth as opposed to slow growth in stability strategy. A cooperative strategy is the attempt by a company to try and achieve its objectives of expansion, but with cooperation through other players, either within the same industry or from a complementary or non-related industry. The objective of cooperative strategy is to expand by cooperating and working with others rather than working against others. The cooperative strategy allows synergistic use of resources of all the organizations. A cooperative strategy like strategic alliances can offer a company a chance to expand even if it does not have a comprehensive portfolio of assets by choosing a partner who does. For example, Ellie Lelly and Renbaxi formed a strategic alliance to complement each other's portfolios and objectives. The cooperative strategies also help companies to explore new markets at a fraction of the risk. For achieving long-term objectives, the expansion strategy provides the blueprint required to grow and also allow the companies to sustain their competitive advantage even in the complex stages of market and product evolution. Expansion strategy helps a company achieve economies of scale, which reduces operating costs and helps in improving earnings. Though the main focus of the lesson is strategic alliances, the lesson does discuss the other expansion strategies briefly. Expansion strategies may be of different types. They may be integration, diversification, cooperation, and internalizations. These are different ways of expansion of an enterprise in a global market. Would include strategic alliances. A strategic alliance is defined as a collaboration 
between the companies or incumbents of an industry or from different industries whereby they agree to share their resources and capabilities in pursuit of sustained competitive advantage and above average rate of return these are also referred to as cooperative strategies where two or more companies decide to pool in their resources and capabilities to exploit a market opportunity the companies in this case decide to work with each other to gain competitive advantage rather than work against each other for example a strategic alliance was forged between two pharmaceutical giants that is la lely and renbaxi which was used to enter india by la lely and by renbaxi to gain knowledge about foreign markets similarly a strategic alliance between bharti and walmart was an ode to a cooperative strategy a global company is involved in multiple strategic alliances to complement the needs of different markets and countries it is present in for example IBM has formed alliances with Sun Microsystems, SAP, Lenovo and Cisco among others. These strategic alliances help IBM deal with threats from different companies and add on to their portfolio of its strengths. The objective of each specific strategic alliance is unique and specific. It is important to know that strategic alliances are not a unidirectional relationship. The basis of this relationship is the fact that both the parties who are involved in this relationship bring something unique to the table. This uniqueness adds to the competitive advantage that the strategic alliance can exploit over the period of time it is very important in the strategic alliance that all the partners are actively solving problems are being dependable and are again and again finding ways to combine their resources and capabilities to create value to gain some sustained competitive advantage and above average returns There are three types of strategic alliances. The three types of alliances which have been discussed in this section of the lesson are joint ventures, equity strategic alliances and non-equity strategic alliances. A joint venture students is defined as an alliance between two organizations or companies where the organization chooses to lose their individual identity and form an independent identity this new identity which is formed from two or more partners can boast of a resource and capability pool which consists of best of the both partnering companies these ventures help companies establish associations which help them pass tactical knowledge about value addition to partners so as to gain competitive advantage and above average rate of return second an equity strategic alliance this type of alliance is defined as an alliance where partner companies have unequal shares in the new venture created The unique characteristics of the new venture that is created by combining resources and capabilities of the partnering firms. For example, City Group has formed a strategic alliance with Shanghai Pudong Development Bank Company. Third type of strategic alliance would be a non-equity strategic alliance. Students, this type of a alliance is one. where partnering companies agreed to share 
and leverage their resources and capabilities to gain competitive advantages in the target market. The main difference between equity strategic alliance and a non-equity strategic alliance is that in a non-equity strategic alliance, the partnering companies do not set up a separate independent company and hence they do not take equity positions. So students, different types of strategic alliances that we are going to study further are joint ventures, equity strategic alliances and non-equity strategic alliances. So students, let us now understand what a joint venture is. A joint venture strategy is a strategy in which two or more companies pool up their resources for accomplishing a specific task. This task helps in achieving a new project or provides company with a different entity. Now each member of joint venture is associated with all the expenses and revenues of the company. Joint venture is seen as a tool of international expansion. International joint venture enables companies to use resources and capabilities of each other which help in achieving economies of scale for bringing new product or service in the market faster, more efficiently and more reliably and also more cheaply than what they could do. Joint ventures have partners and these partners have certain position in the eyes of local and international markets. Before commencing of a joint venture, the companies check the following variables. Size of the company, business fields and activity, abroad investments, structure and ownership of strategy of the company and such like many other variables. In a joint venture, when two companies come in contact, they lay the foundation of a third company which means 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. The companies share profit and risk equally. The best example of a joint venture is Sony Ericsson. When Sony was a leading brand in electronics in India and Ericsson was a leading mobile brand of America, both the companies joined hands to create a third company called Sony Ericsson to provide services in India. Another such example of joint venture is Nokia and Microsoft. Reasons why companies develop strategic alliances. A company can develop strategic alliances for varied reasons. Some of them have been listed as below. Technology has become the basis of competition and at times because of patent or limitation in terms of resources and capabilities, companies cannot gain access to these technologies. However, access is important for gaining market success and it is in their scenarios that companies contemplate alliances. Many a times, company enter strategic alliances to gain access to unique and price competitive ways of adding value to market offering. The competition these days is determined not only by understanding the customer needs, but also how quickly one can get that need satisfied, that is, cater to the market. Now many a times, company find shortcut to development process by opting for alliances or division of process across partners. Also sometimes alliances are done as a source of revenue. Also as a route to enter a new market where sole entry is not possible or allowed. For example, in countries like China. Many a times companies would enter a strategic alliance to cater to diverse customer needs and they do not want to lose the customer to a competitor so they partner. Now, for example, airline industry, not every airline can cater to every route and therefore they partner and form alliances. Diversification. Diversification students is a type of portfolio management in which investor reduces the risk of volatility by investing in various products of company which have very low correlation with each other. The advantage of diversification is that when in a company one product is earning a higher profit and the other is running in losses, it balances or outweighs the negative investment.
diversification is of three types unrelated diversification related diversification and conglomerate diversification unrelated diversification or unrelated diversified companies do not share resources or linkages for example tata group it has diversified its business from steels to hotels tata motors tcs etc but they do not share the resources amway it is a beauty and home care products have entered into jewelry related diversification a related diversified company has been defined as the one in which at least 30% of its revenues are earned from sources outside of its dominant business for example nestle for assistance to tomato sauce and ketchup they have introduced maggi third conglomerate diversification like for example general electronics the company has diversified its business in electronics financial services healthcare etc tata group of hotels produces their own amenities and are also in communication mergers and acquisitions mergers and acquisitions are done by a company to increase their market share and to survive in competitive markets mergers and acquisitions are two different things merger is when two different companies join hands to create a new venture for example lipton tea and brook bond whereas acquisition refers to overtaking of one entity by other for example tata group acquired corus 2006 the deal size was dollar 12.98 billion legally speaking in merger two companies come in agreement for the formation of a third company and in acquisition one company takes over all the operational aspects of the other company mergers may be of different kinds a horizontal merger where two companies with delivering same products and are in direct competition like coke and pepsi or a vertical merger where two companies are producing products of one finished product for example automobile company joining hands with part supplier third market extension merger where two companies selling same product in different markets for example eagle band shares or a product extension mergers like two companies selling different but related products in the same market for example mobilink telecom by broadband conglomerate merger in this there are two companies that do not have any common product line for example wall disney and american broadcasting diversification strategies is a type of portfolio management in which investor reduces the risk of volatility by investing in various products of the company which have very low correlation with each other whereas takeovers generally refer to purchase of one company by the other whereas in united kingdom takeovers are termed as acquisition of a public company whose shares are listed in the stock exchange takeovers can again be of different kinds they could be friendly takeovers hostile takeovers reverse takeovers or backflip takeovers students a friendly takeover would be a takeover in which the acquisition is approved by the management for example johnson and johnson friendly takeover of dutch vaccine maker crucel the deal accounted to 1.75 billion euros a hostile takeover would be one 
where the bidder can take over the company whether their management are willing or not willing to sell the company hostile takeover happens when the board rejects the offer made by the bidder there are various ways to develop a hostile takeover an example of hostile takeover could be when oracle took over people soft after a battle of 18 months the oracle company took over the people software company now reverse takeovers these are the ones in which the public company is acquired by the private company so that the private company can bypass the complex process of going public for example mtn an african based telecom company is planning for a reverse takeover of reliance communication through its deal the company value would reach up to 70 billion with 120 lakh users then there is a backflip takeover in this type of takeover the acquiring company turns itself into a subsidiary of the purchased company this happens when a large but less known company acquires a struggling company for example the takeover of bank of america by the national bank but it adopted the name bank of america so students let us now summarize what we have learned in this module strategy is a game plan to target a market conduct operations satisfy customers and achieve organizational objectives it lays down organization's desired goals direction and destination strategy can never be perfect it is always flexible there are no second best choices in strategies strategy is partially proactive and partially reactive a corporate level strategy looks for the development of the whole organization beginning with mission goals to determining the business plan resources and finally implementing different strategies in order to achieve a desired goal corporate level strategies are those strategies which are concerned with the strategic decision making in the company these strategies are made by high governing bodies of the firm one of the main corporate level strategies is to decide the means of expansion to new areas current lesson discusses the cooperative strategy as an option to expand the corporate portfolio thank you